Now at six, an agreement has been made just in time for this weekend's graduation at Wesleyan University. Pro-Palestinian protesters have taken down their tents. In exchange, they will give input on how the university invests its donations. Our chief political reporter, Susan Raff, is live right now on the Wesleyan campus with more on the, these developments. Susan. Mark, this coming weekend will be a busy one here on the Wesleyan campus. There are plenty of reunions and graduations planned. And the one thing that the university did not want were all those tents. Now, students agreed to take down the tents, although you can see there is still quite a bit of support here on campus for the Palestinians. But students are also telling us that the one thing they did not agree on is that they wouldn't cause any more disruptions. The encampment at Wesleyan University is gone. All that's left are spots of dead grass where dozens of tents stood for three weeks. We protested daily. We disrupted the university's proceedings and we demonstrated our incredible power and our widespread support and we got the university to meet our demands. Bacha Klein says hundreds of students got their message out and got something done. They reached a deal. The university's president says representatives from the pro-Palestinian protest will meet members of the investment committee, which means students will have a say on how Wesleyan donations are invested. In exchange, the protesters have agreed to clear their camp and have agreed not to disrupt reunion and commencement events. The president lied in his email in the statement. She says there was never an agreement to refrain from disrupting graduation. This student didn't want to give his name, but says he understands how explosive this has become. I think it's important that we acknowledge the loss of life on both sides. I think it's really important that um, the university does everything it can to protect its students and their beliefs. Those who live near Wesleyan have seen the protests here and at campuses across the country. They say free speech is important, but so is graduation. If you are not able to... to um, have this last ceremony, which is very important. You work so hard for four years, and then you, you don't have the ability to do that. I think it's not right. So later this month, students are expected to meet with members of the investment committee. As for this coming weekend, no, there will not be any tents, but there are also no guarantees there won't be any protests. We are live in Middletown. Susan Raff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. All right.